Don't, don't worry, I'm not crying about the vaccine rollout, although I think it's been very emotional for all of us. Now, I've just done a massive line of coke and it's really, really made my eyes water. So I'm just here at the tail end of the Conservative Party Christmas Jamboree and it's been quite a wonderful event, actually. For example, we've got presents for thousands and thousands of people around the nation. For example, teachers, I know you've been bored this year, sat at home with nothing to do, so we thought that over the Christmas holidays, as a special treat, you could go into schools, regardless of whether it's really safe or not, and set up an enormous and complicated testing programme that you have no medical qualification to participate in, and you're not being paid any extra or supported in doing so. You're welcome. We've had our own internal secret Santa as well. I received a trip to Barnard Castle. I can't tell who it's from because the writing on the package is very, very small. I had to get something for Pretty Patel and she is very hard to buy for. We looked at knuckle dusters, but in the end she just cornered me behind the bike sheds. I ended up giving her my lunch money. So that was nice. And I want to stick up as well for Boris Johnson over the festive season. A lot of people are saying that he isn't really putting his back into organising international trade negotiations. And that is simply not true, it's grossly unfair. For example, just this afternoon, right before the party, he spent more than three hours doing a deal on the phone with Colombia. And I, for one, appreciate that greatly. Have a wonderful, snowy Christmas. See you next year. Oh. Mm.